Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called longest subsequence with limited sum. It's part of today's weekly contest. Um, so the problem says that we get an array of numbers of length n, um, and we get an integer array queries of length m. And we want to return um, an answer array that has length m, where basically each slot is the maximum size of a subsequence that we can form from this array uh, nums such that the sum of its element is less than or equal to queries. Um, and so a subsequence basically is just um, um, a, a, a subarray that can be derived by deleting some elements or, um, or not deleting anything, right, without changing the order, right? So for example, 5, 1 is a subsequence, we just remove 2, right? Start here and remove and remove 2. Um, yeah, 4, 5, 2 is also a subsequence. You get the idea, you probably know what a subsequence is, so let's just get started. Um, so the easiest way to solve this is just, we want to maximize the size for each query, right? Which means we want to take as many small elements as we can first, um, because that will maximize the number of elements we take before reaching the limit, which is the query number, right? So we can just sort, and once we sort, um, we can have a prefix sum of all the subsequence uh, of all the um, of the array, and then just binary search for this value, right, to know where it is. Um, you may ask, why do we um, why do we need to um, to take the accumulate the sum, right? So, for example, let's take this sum here. Let's take this array. So, once we sort it, it would be uh, one, two four, five, right? And so we convert it to one, three, so three plus four, seven, seven plus five, 12, right? So you, you might say, why do this? Because, because of these smaller elements, right? Um, it's always, it's always uh, as long as we haven't reached the, the limit, which is query at position i, it's always better to add the smaller element, right? Then, then add a bigger element because each will contribute one to, to the size, so it's always better to take the smallest element. And so there is never a case where we don't need to take two, and we take, but we need to take four, and that will maximize the, the size for us. That's not possible because the size is still two if we take one, two, and it's still two if we take one, four, right? And so it's always a good decision to take the smallest element. So we might as well just sum them up so that we are ready to just uh, compare, okay? And now once we sum up, we have the size from zero for the sorted array. And since the sum doesn't care, like, the other thing is that why is sorting um, a load here? Because if you sum two plus five, that's the same as summing five plus two, right? So whether we sort it and then do two plus four plus five or do it like this, that's the same thing, right? Because, um, or whether we take two five or take five, two like this, that's the same thing, because here is just a subsequence where we removed four, and here it's a contiguous subsequence, right? So that's why sorting works as well. Um, now, why do we binary search? So we have this query, which is the limit, right? So th for three, well, we can just binary search for three, and we'll find this is the position, so we know the length is, that we can take is two, and that's valid here, because one plus two is equal to three. For 10, <coughs> well, we can just binary search here to know where we, where is the position we can't exceed? So we can't get to 12 because that's bigger. So if you binary search, we'll find position here, seven, uh, seven here. Uh, that's the closest. And so we could, and one thing here is we, so this would be size three, right? So that's the highest thing we can take. And so we could just binary search um, for the solution. Basically just binary search the value here in this prefix sum uh, binary search for its index. Pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, so let's implement that. Uh, so what we need is to sort first. The second thing we need. Um, okay, so now that we so we sorted first, um, and then we take um, prefix, right? So we need something for that. We take n is equal to the length of the numbers, and prefix is going to be. We're going to initialize it. Mm. And then now we will go through the numbers. So range of n, prefix of i, 
i minus one plus the number at position i um and then what we do is so um the only thing here is that for i equal to zero this won't work so let's just do something like maybe if i is equal to zero then we want prefix i to be just equal to the number at position i um there are other uh, ways to do it where we can just make this go to i plus one and fill for position i or make it be i plus one that's also doable but we'll do it this simple way first and now we can binary search um, you could either write binary search yourself or we can just use uh, python's uh, binary search function so for now we'll use that so let's we need our result and then for in queries what we will do is bisect bisect right and this will just binary search for the index closest to it right so um, so this would be in prefix we'll search for Q right um, and then we'll add this index so this would be the index and that's what we'll add to res um, and then we can return res so if we run this let's use more examples oh sorry about this um, Okay, so that's accepted there, let's submit. Okay, cool, so that gets accepted. Um, a couple of things we can like improve here, so um, let's just add this. Um, and in terms of time complexity here, for the prefix sum calculation, we are doing oven. We are sorting here, so this is oven lagging. And then here we are doing of Q, Q being the length of queries, let's suppose. Um, and then we are binary searching on the prefix. So this here is of lag n. Okay, so which means that overall lag n n being the length of prefix. And so overall, this is q lag n. Um, so overall, you can say this is n, n lag n plus q lag n, right? So n plus q lag n. That's the overall um, time complexity. In terms of space, we are only using this prefix array, so o of n here. Um, now, uh, one thing in Python that we can use, actually, um, which is, let me show you here. Instead of doing the prefix sum ourselves, which is a little bit cumbersome, uh, we can use this function called accumulate, right? Um, where, let's say, for example, here, let me grab the, the numbers we have here. Okay, so what we can do is just call... Um, accumulate on the numbers uh, and we need to import it of course so uh, it's in it it a tools library uh, import accumulate and if we do it again so it gives us an iterator so if we convert it to a list just to see what we get so you can see 4 9 11 12 for this array so that's 4 plus 5 9 plus 2 11 12 so you can see it does the prefix sum if we just want to kind of match the exact solution we are doing you can see it gave us the, the exact sum so we don't need to calculate it here so that's just a way to speed up your solution diary contest is to use these libraries um, and so we can do here accumulate for numbers and assign this to prefix um, and that should be it um, we just need to convert it to a list though so that we can binary search on it and here this would be uh, j just actually this here can just be bisect and we want to do it for every query right so we can just return this so if you're on this and submit So that passes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, I think, for this problem. Um, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.